how's it YouTube hope everyone's doing well I just thought I'd give you guys a quick guitar tip and it goes like this <laughs> saw that but what I was doing there I was actually playing E minor pentatonic box but I was playing with my finger my index finger uh, after the nut of the guitar so I was actually using the part of the headstock as part of the fingerboard while well, I was thinking of it as part of a finger fingerboard and I was thinking of the nut as a fret and you might think like why is this a tip what, what when can this become when can this be handy well um, I don't know some of you might have had this problem as well but when I started out playing guitar and you know started playing around the infamous E minor pentatonic box I always thought that F minor was like the limit so and I always thought okay then if I go to E minor uh, then I've actually run out of frets so I was always sure that I that I had to refinger this E minor pentatonic block to something like something like that if you if you look at some of Stevie Ray Vaughan's music like um, scuttle butting he, he does a lot of he's he's the master of playing in the open position with the re-fingered e minor pentatonic block but for me i always i don't know when i especially when it came to improv improvising i always used to be nervous around about playing around this area because i always thought in the back of my mind subconsciously that oh no, okay here comes here comes this part of the song or here comes this part of the guitar neck where I run out of frets and I must not forget to change the fingering around when I get to E, when I get to the open strings. And this can cause some problems when you're improvising because it, you know, it's like a millisecond <laughs> delay in your thoughts and sometimes that can throw you off a big time. So with this technique, you can just keep your same fingering technique that you would use in other keys or even if you're playing like E minor and octave higher. <laughs> you know like good luck playing like faster runs uh, when, when you're trying to do the refingered positions I'm sure there are many people out there who can do it you know and they can work they, they worked it out but if you're lazy like I am you know uh, I found this little technique much more helpful so all it is you just put your finger over you just think of this part of the headstock as part of the fingerboard and you just play your usual E minor pentatonic patterns like you would let's say an octave up or if you be you know playing in other positions but um, it doesn't it doesn't only relate to scales and it doesn't only relate to E minor like you can be in A minor as well you know kind of gain an extra fret there if you know what I mean uh, and doesn't like I said it doesn't only really relate to uh, E minor you, it can be in other uh, keys as well but you can also use it for chords like for example I like to play a uh, major 7 chord in, in this way like G major 7 I place my finger over the bass and I have my fingers going like that reaching over the G Playing the major seven there. I don't like. I don't really like to play the major seven like this. I prefer this sound. This works in G, G flat. But now it can even work in F. You see, I, I don't. Even though I'm pressing my finger there, I, you know, it doesn't doesn't change the sound. It's not to change the sound tonally. It's just to trick your mind into thinking that that's a, that's a part of the fingerboard as well so it helps you uh, play your chords and your scales consistently without the need to change the fingering around you know stuff like that you know like the only thing is don't obviously don't you mustn't press down hard on it you know because then it bends it out of tune this is not like this is not bending behind the nut technique that a lot of people do on, on strat style guitars you can't really do that too well on this guitar because it doesn't have a lot of space there but like some of you telly or strat players out there i'm also a strat player as you can see behind me yeah that that, that trick works better there but you can even you 
can slide over the over the nut easily unless you've got a Floyd Rose style guitar that has these thumb screws on there then then those things might, you might break your finger on them when you try to slide over them so I don't think it really works too well on those guitars I never really tried but yeah that's that's my little tip for the day I thought I'd share with you guys so please give me a thumbs up if you liked the video or just give me a thumbs down if you didn't and just leave a comment below thanks guys for watching and keep guitar alive all the best cheers